using drugs which kill cancer cells. So the aim is to kill cancer cells by giving by giving some medications. And the chemotherapy drug cannot actually distinguish between a normal cell and a cancer cell. It's like a generic treatment. So what happens is that most of the dividing cells, like the hair, the hair grows. Your hand and legs uh, don't grow after you become an adult. So the hair or the uh, mucus of the mouth, these are the things which uh, grow, which are grow and shed every day. So these are the things which will be affected by chemotherapy. The patients will have hair fall. They might have ulcers in the mouth. They, their blood counts can go down which can cause fever. So these are some side effects of chemotherapy which can be managed well, but still patients don't want it. Nobody wants to lose hair or get mouth ulcers by not treatment. And when your blood count goes down, you are prone to infections, which means your immunity is less actually. That means that you cannot go out or meet many people because you, have, you risk getting an infection there. But immunotherapy as such is something in which the patient's immune system is trained actually. There are certain cells in the body. Body is capable of actually trying to control any in insult which happens to it. So the immunotherapy actually uh, stimulates that aspect of, uh, of the body, human body system. It stimulates the immune system. It tries to teach the immune system to more effectively control the insult, which is the cancer. So, this is in simple terms, there is a complex mechanism behind it and people have spent their lifetime researching on this and I think this is the breakthrough now. Maybe uh, uh, somebody has spent uh, 50 years of research in this and now we have some outcome. The last uh, Nobel Prize in Medicine went for discovery of pdl one blockers actually. So, and many more to come. Now we have many approved treatments in those patients who respond to immunotherapy, the cancer might not recur. So there are patients who are on with stage 4 cancers, who, which is incurable, but they are on immunotherapy and, the, and they are alive for 5 to 7 to 10 years, which was not even, which we couldn't even think a uh, few years back. So that is where it is going to make a difference.